All your Overwatch wants and needs after getting the game will be free, says Blizzard. Minecraft is confirmed for Wii U, and Max Payne joins the list of PS2 classics for PlayStation. The Division's beta details changed, CD Projekt Red wants to make Witcher 4, the Final Fantasy VII remake going multi-part, and this week's loot list is what we'll be talking about today in Turn-Based. I'm Tamtu. And I'm Viet. Before anything else though, System Shock 3 has been teased and there's a timer on developer Other Side Entertainment's website counting down to what's probably a reveal trailer. The original series IP holder Night Dive Studio is working on the reimagining of the original System Shock, which follows an enhanced port of that game released early for free on GOG.com this year. Overwatch game director Jeff Kaplan explains in a developer update video that after the release of Overwatch, new maps and heroes will be free. Addressing the concerns after the game was announced to get a paid retail version, the content will be patched in through updates and everyone will be able to access it. The closed beta ends this week and will return sometime in January. A while back we pointed out the news of Minecraft for Wii U and Mojang has confirmed that it's ready to happen on December 17th. The Wii U bundle will have six of their most popular add-on packs but more interestingly will be its off-TV play feature to play on the gamepad. It only makes sense this feature is on the Wii U, but what I still want to know is if it's you, if using a Princess Peach amiibo, will it summon a Peach statue for me to blow up? Fingers crossed. It's all that matters to me. Only one of those. Yes, yes, it's all that matters to me. <laughs> the very first Max Payne has joined the ranks of PS2 classics for PS4. This only further confirms that Sony's PS2 emulation is nothing like the backward compatibility that gamers want. At PSX, the trailer shows these are updated, PlayStation curated titles to be released on the store. So, so disappointing. Remember The Division? Still coming out in March 2016, pre-order customers are still waiting for the beta of the game. It's been since pushed back to early January, but to make up for it, Ubisoft is now offering another alpha test for Xbox One pre-order players, running December 9th until the 12th. More than just Dark Zone, we don't know what else is going to be it, and it's been made clear that there's an NDA on footage and screens. The Witcher 3 did pretty well this year, and as such, CD Projekt Red has said that the Witcher universe will get a fourth game. Studio CEO Adam Kicinski says that, It won't be fair towards the fan. We worked within this universe for over a dozen years now, and I don't think it's going to be the end of it. Before anything will happen with The Witcher 4, CD Projekt Red will be working on their new IP, Cyberpunk's 2077, promised to be far, far bigger than The Witcher 3. And in case you missed it, the Final Fantasy VII Remake will be multi-part. In modernizing the game with updated graphics, voices and expanding the story in new ways, Square Enix wants to deliver the Final Fantasy story as complete as possible. Having a single release would have forced elements of the original to be cut, and this decision will both deliver the new Final Fantasy VII experience to players sooner, while also allowing the team to keep working on the gameplay and patch it on the fly for existing episodes and work on following chapters. Square Enix has always been about evolving JRPGs, and in my opinion, this is no different. Square Enix assures that each part will have enough content to match a full-fledged title. As long as it doesn't have ridiculous DLC, I'm okay! Because when you think about it, the Midgard portion alone was 4, .8, 4 to 8 hours in the past game with the bombing mission, the other bombing mission, the wall market scene, and uh, the climb to surface, the tower raid, and the escape from the city. That would be so much content, especially if we can explore every nook and cranny, and I'm rambling, aren't I? Yes, you are. But you do love your Final Fantasy. I do. Lupus? Lootless. Rally Race fans, hop in for Dirt Rally PC and ask yourself if you have what it takes to take down the Titan-sized enemies in Earth Defense Force 2, invaders from Planet Space for PS Vita, and then giant alien ants again in Earth Defense Force 4.1, The Shadow of New Despair on PS4. Guns, gore, and cannoli hits PS4, as does Yakuza 5 on PS3. Xbox One finally gets some neon narwhal horn fighting in Star Wall, Devil's Third hits Wii U as well as Fast Racing Neo, it's not F-Zero but we'll take it. Among the Sleep and Cosmic League make their way on PC and Steam World Heist for 3DS wraps up this week's loot list. That's it for this week's loot list. Let us know what you're getting this week and what you're playing in the comments below. We'll be back with another turn base, so keep your hashtag game news coming in the app and social media. I'm Tamtu. And I'm Viet.